Okay, today we're going to demonstrate the PA skull. The uh, central ray should exit the nasion for this view. Patient should be upright as we're performing it, but it can also be done recumbent on the table. We are going to use a 72 inch SID, but it should be noted that you could also use a 40 inch. Uh, we prefer the 72. 72 inches will give better resolution and reduce the entrance skin exposure. Uh, so for this, uh, you can't necessarily see uh, where the central ray is going to be exiting, so we're going to use a little trick. Uh, we know that it should exit the nasion, so that's where we're going to line the patient up with uh, their nasion right at the crosshair on the bucky. Um, so I'm going to adjust a little bit here the height. And typically, if you have the patient put their nose and forehead on the board, that will most often get your OML perpendicular. I'm going to move you over just a little bit. So I'm centering left to right. I'm coming over here to check OML. Can you drop your chin just a little more? And I'm going to lower the bucky. So right there. Got the nasion right in the center. No rotation. And then all you can do once you're lined up, or all you need to do, is center your x-ray tube to the bucky, which is already in alignment and then column H. And then I may put my left marker up here. This should be done on suspended respiration, and the patient can relax as soon as the exposure is made.